Hi there, my name's Joe, and um, as well as making didgeridoos for many years, I uh, have been making flutes. And the flute that I've got here today is a uh, ocarina style flute, um, but it sounds very similar to a First Nations flute. And I make these from driftwood that I gather from the beach. I live on the Isle of Wight and I go along the beaches and I find the right pieces of wood for the didgeridoos and the flutes that I make. Today I want to talk about how to play this flute and uh, to explain how to get the best sound out of it and how to create um, short tunes for those people that are interested in um, acquiring one or playing an uh, instrument like this. It's exactly the same fingering as a, as a Native American flute. <coughs> you can see that there are six holes. We've got three holes on each side, so three holes for the left, three holes for the right hand. And um, unlike a transverse flute, which is a flute where you blow across the hole, with this flute you're blowing into the hole at the end, just straight into that hole. So I place my lips over that, making an airtight seal, and I blow. Okay, so that's the highest note that the flute can get. When all of the holes are open and uncovered, that's going to be your top note. And when I cover all of the holes with my fingers, then I get the lowest note. Okay, so I'm going to show this on a, on a different flute, one that's a little bit higher. This one is um, in E, E minor pentatonic, and if I cover all of the holes with my fingers and I blow gently, then I'll get the low note. If I lift all of the fingers off, I'll get the high note. And similar to a Native American flute, I leave that hole there on my left hand, I'm leaving that covered for that top note. Okay? So, when I'm placing my finger on the holes, I don't use the end pad of my finger, I'm using the flat pad here of my finger, and that means that I'm covering the hole as efficiently as possible. Okay, so I'm using the, the flat of my finger to cover the hole. <coughs> when I blow into the flute, I blow gently. Now, uh, same with didgeridoo and with all flutes, that it's all to do with the pressure at which you play. If you blow very hard, you will change the note. If you blow softer, uh, the note will be different. So, with this type of flute, you want to blow softly okay for the bottom notes maybe a little bit stronger for the higher notes so you can hear if I blow soft and then I blow loud louder harder the note will change I want the bottom one okay so when you're blowing a flute like this you blow softly for the low note if I blow it too hard, the rest of the flute will sound out of tune. Okay, so the first one's best. Now, it's really helpful when you're playing the flute to have a good understanding of the scale which it's playing. If you can play the scale, then you can start to create your own tunes. So, um... That's the very simple scale on this flute, okay, starting from the bottom and going up. Okay, and I'm blowing softly on the start and a little bit stronger when I reach the high notes, keeping this finger here on, the, on my left hand covered when I go up for that basic scale. Excellent, I hope that makes sense. <coughs> now, if I um, want to start making chings, at the moment I'm going up and down the scale um, in single steps, okay, one note at a time. If I make bigger steps between notes, then I can create different, whole different set of melodies. Um, if I take all three fingers off here, from the lowest note, and I make a jump of taking three off,
I can then make a jump of taking these two off. Okay, now if I was to combine taking several fingers off at the same time with single steps of notes, I can start to create a very simple tune. I'm doing there is I'm um, going up and down the scale I'm lifting three fingers off at a time and lifting two fingers off at a time. Also find um, another nice interval to use is these two fingers off together at the same time and back on. So I've got these two through that again. Okay. I can make a jump of a whole octave between the low note and the high note by having all holes covered and then lifting all off. I'm starting to make simple tunes out of little steps, single steps, and bigger steps of taking more than one finger off, either two fingers off together or three fingers or all fingers, and I start to create different melodies. Good. Okay, so um, <clears throat> another thing that's really nice about these flutes, because they're quite a breathy sound, you can add your voice in, so singing the same note um, that you're playing. just singing the same note that I'm playing so and then I sing this another thing that I enjoy to do is to run my finger quickly along three holes and I get a kind of trilling sound And if I trill my tongue, like rolling my tongue, while I'm playing a note, I can get a nice sound too. Now, you notice when I'm playing that some of the notes that I play are short, so you can play staccato notes that are quite quick. One thing that really suits this flute is to play the notes long and slow and to let them fade out. So if I'm playing staccato, if I'm playing short notes, but if I let long notes just fade out into the distance it has a really nice effect just let the notes breathe okay so for me the sound of this flute is a really natural sound it's a sound of um, the sea because it comes you know from from the beach the wood um, I'm looking out across to the sea as I play this and talk about this now but for me it's this is an instrument that's about being played outside whether I'm in the forest or on the beach and it's it's an instrument it's not about showing off or playing fast or your ego it's about connecting with the land and the nature and being at peace and playing for peace so, you know, hopefully the little steps that I've shown can encourage people that play flute to experiment with some of those ideas. 
um, if you're if you're learning, it, it gives you your first um, step in learning. But it's uh, it's an instrument that's to be enjoyed and played for your your own ears in a sense and for the ears of nature. And um, you know, there's no hurry with playing this. The slower, and more gently it's played, with the more heart, um, the better it is. So these flutes are all different. They all sound different. All different notes and different keys. Um, my partner makes really nice bags for them that go with them and if you are interested in um, playing one yourself or finding out a bit more then my email is at the end of the clip. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye bye.